Things are looking up for college football fans. Football players can be back on campus as soon as next week. Camps could begin as soon as July. And a football season that starts on time and with fans feels like a real possibility. Still, in the back of everyone's mind is a worst case scenario that could cost schools hundreds of millions of dollars. What if you have a positive test? That's a big question. Certainly, what if you have a positive test before, you know, a day before a game? If somebody tests positive, what do you do with them? Do you cancel the game? Do you quarantine the whole team for two weeks and you have to cancel two games? That is the elephant in the room that every conference athletic director and decision maker is trying to answer. You know, really come June 8th, we're going to have to know, you know, what, one, what is that threshold? You know, is it one? Is it five? You know, student athletes before you have to make a decision and then what are your options for those decisions? Last week, UCF Athletic Director Danny White said playing without fans was a $30 million problem for his school. But that pales in comparison to the $650 million problem facing all schools if college football fails to go the distance. There'll be a definite major residual impact if you can't have fans, but if you can continue to have the sport, games are televised, you have a full CFP, then certainly there'll be some revenue that would come. But it's not, it's not the ideal situation by any means. On top of lost TV and game day revenue, not having the postseason could be crippling. The college football playoffs alone paid out $550 million in 2019. UL Athletic Director Dr. Brian Maggard says the school on average earns more than a million of that. You know, that's a, that's a, a good amount of money, you know, for, for a budget our size. And so not having a CFP, you know, would be detrimental, you know, to us. It would just be another hit, you know, to the revenues. The CFP pays each Power 5 conference a base of $66 million. The number balloons based on the New Year's Six Bowl contracts. Last year, the SEC made $140 million. Meanwhile, the group of five conferences split 90. Throw in 100 mil from all the other bowl games, and the postseason revenue total comes to a staggering $650 million. Is it safe to say as long as you guys have a college football playoff, then you're pretty safe in terms of at least getting out with your shirt on still? Well, you're, you're pretty safe with coming out with something. I'll say that. The impact of not having the college football playoffs or postseason goes much beyond college football itself. In fact, teams already across America are being cut to save money. Just yesterday, Appalachian State cut three programs, and many of the current shortcomings are being directly tied to the cancellation of March Madness, a payout of $275 million for universities or 40% of the college football postseason 